Well, hello. So I got this to work, and after 15 days, we're going to get some more Shaman GM mode. But not really GM mode, because it's not really, you know, a GM mode. Um, by any means. But, it's still worse. We have won seven consecutive games to this point in um, GM mode. As our Miami Heat are ranked number one by 2K. Um, and now, Mark there puts us at number one. However, the Warriors sit at number one um, by N NBA.com standards. Um, however, that hashtag wins equals rings thing. Um, now, I mean, clearly they didn't watch this season. But we are going to play the Oklahoma City Thunder, and um, if you guys have missed it, um, I would highly recommend going back and watching the first 11 episodes um, in this series so far, as we have played through 10 games, um, and of course the fantasy draft at the very beginning, um, as we are going to play a, a Thunder team which is 4-5, and five, right now is we have the number one overall ranked team statistically however we have the second best offense um in the league and how about those how about those pride unis um and how about they go with those uh, they they don't have like any jerseys um i don't really want them to go with blue though so they can go with white because i want my my pride black uniforms but guys, uh, it's it's very good to be back, and my, uh, I'm, I'm just really amped Smith. Thanks for tuning in. because it's You're been 15 days NBA since I last played this Sports. series, and it's Tonight we'll see the Miami Heat I'm just the super Oklahoma happy City to be Thunder. back here, as you can see. Last game for Oklahoma City, um, they picked up the W against my player the over there is doing pretty well, but there is Bill Russell, and that is not going to be easy for us to pull the win against. To say the least. One of the guys to watch um, tonight. Though Monte we have, Ellis, such an we have done a pretty at times, uh, really good job so far in the last seven games, yeah, winning all of them. Yeah, After a really rough start, if you guys watched those first three games, um, it was it was also, not very good for me. I mean, to say the very least, it was not good for me. Um, but here we are. Look at that South Beach. Uh, I wasn't too far away from there. I was in Daytona over the past uh, four or five days, and it's it's been uh it's been pretty good. There's Dwayne Wade, who's no longer on the Heat, which, by the way, is uh kind of kind of disappointing to say the least. Uh, if you'll excuse me for uh, a quick second, um, all that All Star stuff, but no voice command. Let's, let's not have that. If you guys missed the entire episode where I got technical after technical, I'd highly recommend you go back and watch that one at least. And we lose the tip-off. Great start, guys. Great start. Actually, that was a pretty damn impressive start. Look at that. Boom, Dwayne Wade. Slamming it home, baby. Um, but we got, I believe I, in the last episode, I did mention that we have 10 games until the All-Star break. So, and now we're, we're about halfway to the All-Star break with those 10 games. But, um, as you can see, we're getting ourselves moving in the right direction. All right. He was a little too far off of me for his own good here. We got our boy Rondo. Um, what I did do, I I, I didn't want to make myself like... Nice block by Whiteside. Alright, but I didn't want to get myself out of practice, so I, I did... I did kind of... Uh, practice a little bit with another one of my teams and uh, I've been getting pretty good at the timing and all that and uh, my team's pretty good one of the big things that I would like to mention is if you watch the draft 
you will notice that uh, I did purposely draft a lot of three-point shooters because that's kind of my thing. I like to shoot threes um, as well as dunk the ball. So it's it's a mix of mix of guys that can that can dunk. Oh man, that that should have been in. But uh, anyway, trying to. Damari Carroll nailing it down and just needed he needed a couple of tries there. Maybe he's just better from three, I don't know. But uh, on my other one, I, I did a lot better. Um, as if you did notice when I when I signed in, I did have one from like it, it said 2017, I believe. Uh, late 2017. I've already gone through two seasons. My Miami Heat have won both, but I did put my uh, my uh, my friends in the in that game. They're on a different team. In fact, they're on the Kings. Um, as uh, it's been interesting, because one of my friends, I, I made it so that you know he likes to win. So I put his play for a winner on maximum, pretty much. It, it wasn't quite maximum, and I put his loyalty down to like 65. Um, and he started off on the Clippers, who lost in the second round, and then he left for the T the Timberwolves, who in my career thing that was a nice block by Whiteside, but it, in in that mode had lost in the second. Uh, who, the Timberwolves had made it to the Western Conference Finals, won, and then lost to me and my Miami Heat in the finals. Um, Then the Timberwolves lost in the second round, the same round that he lost in last time. And he left them to go to the Sacramento Kings. But when he went to the Sacramento Kings, who, who didn't make the playoffs, they weren't all that good. But when he went to the Sacramento Kings, um, he just um, brought in like 12 superstar players with him. He, he turned into LeBron. Like, he... he, he he brought in my other friend, Kendon, who's also, like, the same overall as my character, almost. Um, and he brought in, I believe it was Dwight Howard at, at center. And he brought in, um, who was it? He brought in another superstar at, at shooting guard. But, um, yeah, it was really interesting. So, uh, my, my friend Travis there who played for the, the Clippers ended up winning the MVP my first year despite being a rookie. Um, and he, I ended up in second place on all the categories. So, he won MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, and, um, and Rookie of the Year. And I came in second to all to to him each time, which is kind of kind of crazy. But I did get my ring and a Finals MVP. And then I did it again because why do it once when you can do it multiple times? Um, so that that was a it was an interesting uh, interesting little deal there. I almost I almost wanted to put them into this one, but it's a little late for that. Um, however, next year, because it's our, it's already too late for the draft, the draft class, but I think I might put both of them into next, the following year's draft class. I mean, I'm not going to be going with anything other than like the number 30 or close to the number 30 pick anyway. So it'll be interesting to see where they get drafted, but I do feel like... It'd be it'd be more fun to put them into the game. However, that'll be a long time from now. 
because, you know, playing every single game, you know. I almost want to, like, not play every single game, but it kind of ruins my stats if I do. And I very well could lose. And I don't really want to lose. I would kind of want to, you know, keep winning. Damari Carroll's on fire. Has there been a dead ball in this, like, since that free throw? I don't think so. Interesting. I gotta say, it's, it's quite intriguing, to say the least. Ah, uh, there's, there's a dead ball. There's a dead ball. Ah, uh, other than taking Whiteside out. From Matumbo! Yeah, my boy, my, my boy Natumbo. Matumbo. Natumbo? Why did I say Nintendo? I don't know. Tamari Carroll is on fire. Four for four from downtown. Absolutely unreal. You got to keep getting him the ball. When someone's on fire, you just got to keep keep giving them the ball until they cool off. I mean, why why waste it? All right. So I guess they're gonna they're gonna get the foul there. Is that Monte Ellis? Yeah, it sure is. Looks like they're switching out some players there. It looks like... I don't even know who's playing at center. Eat, eat to Tommy? Eat, eat what? Duh. Anyway. Dwayne Wade for three. That's impressive. But I, what's even more impressive is Rajon Rondo had gotten that rebound in order to pass it back out to D-Dub, who actually made the shot. Um, if you'll notice, that towards the beginning of that, those first three or so games, I mean, he's not the best three-point shooter in the world, but, uh, you know, the more... The more good looks he gets, you know, might be the better for him. Man, that was a that was a pretty decent pass, I suppose. Kind of annoying that they made that shot, but that's Iggy, man. Nice, the chosen one. We lead it by 15. Um. One of the things that I did like about career mode um, that they don't have in the or, or the GM mode, the GM career mode thing, um, is that you know when you oh man um, you can move you can move your team and actually like create your whole ordeal. What you can do in this one. But it's not quite accurate because, you know, D2, and a nice rebound and shot by Matumbo. But um, not that I'm going to move the Miami Heat, but I'm just saying, like, GM mode would have been probably a little bit smarter. We Other, we probably would have played some other games. You know what I mean? Like, we probably would have played, like, I would have picked, like, 20 games to play. And that'd be, like, the whole season and the rest of the time. Um, you know, i just sim the games. But I don't, I don't know. I, I, I like playing the games. I like controlling my own destiny and not having, like, my entire season be destined on how good the CPU is at simulating my games, uh, if you know what I mean. Dang, Lin just blocked that. That's kind of impressive. Lin from downtown. Good job, Jeremy. 
Oh man, how did I not make that? That was a nice little layup. I get. I think my layup's actually like 25 in this game, because I. I because I, I don't want to be super overpowered, but I'm not really balanced either. Like, I'm a shooter, like a jump shooter and a dunker, and no, not, 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 I don't think I have, like, any layup, to be honest with you. Um, now, granted, my character is 99 overall. I get that. But the reason he's 99 overall is because my offensive rebounding is insane. Ilya Sova, perfect shot. What a boss. Oh man, we're going we're going to kill him now. Ilya Sova's in, guys. Ilya Sova is in. What you got? What you got? Ain't got enough. That's for sure. Can't can't be me. Wow, Jeremiah, Jeremiah Lin, impressive. <laughs> Ilya Sova, wrecking the team, baby. A nice little two-pointer and then that three-pointer from, from downtown. Getting that, getting that done. Come on, Ilya Sova, let's go. Let's go. Not quite good enough. And then there's a little Oh my gosh. Rondo. You need to you need to calm you need to calm down. What? How did Matumbo not block that? Let's go, man. Ilya Sova gets it in because he's awesome like that. Second chance points. Our, our team's also seemingly really good at rebounding. Don't know why. I Look at Ilya Sova go, baby. That was a nice little dish from D-Dub. We got ourselves a 19-point game. Let's see if we can't keep it up a little bit here. Good try, Jeremiah, but not quite... Not quite good enough. Ilya Sova would have taken that shot. Would have gone in for it. But as you can see, 48-29. Not a bad first quarter. Not a bad first quarter. Almost almost 50 points. Um, if you want to get close to 200, you got to get about 50 points a quarter, obviously. But, uh, I, I mean, I, I'm not going to be super disappointed. I think if, I had that um, in my life. I'm not going to be super disappointed if we don't make it to 200, obviously. The point is to win the game. And uh, so far, we're doing just that. Um, one thing that I do like is that my 99 guy going out has not really changed the game. Look, at, See, my timing has gotten a little bit better. That was on point. Um, and, I mean, granted... You know, just because it's on point doesn't necessarily mean it's going to go in. But, you know, with a little bit of luck, get the those good shots to fall. Um, and with the badassness of Ilya Sova. And how about... Oh, no. Iggy, Iggy can't do that. Come on, man. What you got? Iggy! Iggy, you had the block there. Let's go, man. Come on, you gotta get that. Gotta get that done. What's we got? What's we got? Ready, ready. Ilya Sova. <laughs> see, see, I like it because he passes in the ball and he slowly walks up. Nobody even kind of notices him. He just kind of slowly walks up towards the basket and then boom, three-point shot. Dang, he made it. And Ilya Sova with the foul. Oh, Ilya Sova's getting taken out. I'm back in. 
But we don't lose anything when Ilyasova comes in, which I like. I like a lot how Ilyasova is able to hit those big time shots. And Damari Carroll, perfect shot from downtown. And he has been perfect from outside the line. Five for five from three point range. 17 points. And I, I, I like how this game is going because, you know, usually with a lot of my games, my 99 guy, granted, he's not like super overpowered, but I mean, he's, he's, he's overpowered. I mean, that's just a fact. But um, at the same time, you know, I'm facing Bill Russell, who's 99 overall as well. So it's not like they don't have a guy. Though Kyrie Irving. I don't know if you know, because this is this is a different Kyrie. Okay, I'll take it for sure. Um, that was supposed to go to white side for an open look, but anyway, I don't remember if it was this one or not because it is again. It's been 15 days, and I've also played another one as you saw on the the, the load in screen, um, where Kyrie Irving just wrecked my my shit like i granted i won the game but he scored 61 points the last time that i played kyrie irving i don't know what it is because he's not 99 overall but he's like op i don't i don't know why um look at that fade away kobe shot boom what a shot there and then six rebounds, not a bad start. Um, in my other career mode, okay, so I'm doing this 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 mode with a couple of my friends instead. Like we're we're all three of us are playing one position, and so we all created our own guys. Um, mine's very similar to the guy that I am now. In fact, it's it's almost identical, except for the fact that oh. It's almost identical except for the fact that this guy has 99 offensive rebounding. Um, which is something that's, you know, my my guy on my other thing doesn't have. But I have been on fire rebounding the ball in that one. Just from defensive, though. It's just defensive rebounding. It's kind of awesome if um, because my guy got 26 rebounds in the last game that I played. Um, which is, I haven't been able to have that happen before. 26, 26 rebounds. I haven't even got that on the easiest level. So the fact that my guy ended up with 26 rebounds is kind of amazing. And, um, you know, it was, it, it was the number one thing that I wanted from my player. Obviously my player can hit shots. My player can hit shots most of the time. What's weird is that... On my PlayStation, on this this mode, I have my guy has been able to hit open looks. Like, if you leave him wide open, you're gonna get the three point ball to go down, or even the two point ball to go down. But if you don't leave him open, he he has a higher chance of missing, just like a normal human being. But on my other thing that I'm playing with my friends there, I can't make I cannot make wide open shots. Oh, Iggy. Ah, oh, Damari. I, that was my fault. I messed up that shot. Was not even close to where I needed it to be. Nice slam dunk right there, baby. But, um, I would like to thank you guys for watching this video. And if you notice, if you guys haven't watched my, uh, my, my shaman vlog yet, but you can notice by the roughly one hour time down in the bottom that I finally, after all this, this time, got a phone and can now make longer than 15 minute videos so thankfully thankfully i have those longer than 15 minute videos that i can now do 
which means that this is going to be the full episode of the Miami Heat versus the Thunder. I'm not really sure what this is going to be called because, you know, i got to make up a name for it. Make people interested. We got some Birdman up in here. Ah oh, man. I'll just, I'll just... Take that. Inside deep two. What? Interaction quality is not currently sufficient to broadcast gameplay. And there it is, folks. Um, well, dang it. I kind of knew this was happening because, um, you know, it, it, it was just bound, it was just bound to happen. I mean, the problem, the problem is that the internet that I'm going off of is the 2.4 gigahertz internet, which is the lower of the two internets. Apparently, there's two internets, and the second internet is a 5 gigahertz one that works perfectly um, and would be able to stream it. However, my PlayStation doesn't pick up that network for whatever reason, and because of that, it's not allowing me to broadcast gameplay on it. Um, and because of that, I might have to end this episode off because the, right now, the internet is, is dead. Um... And as you can see, there's no pause screen, which I have right now. But um, one thing I gotta say is I'd like to thank you guys for sticking with me. Um, I, I do apologize. I'm gonna finish this game off screen, and um, hopefully in the near future I can figure out what the deal is. The problem also is that there's no there's no Ethernet port in the living room, which means that there's no way for me to hook it into the wall and go directly into an internet outlet. So that means that, you know, it doesn't directly connect. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like this issue is going to be fixed any time in the near future. Um, but I will have more Pokemon Randomizer Nuzlocke up. Um, the Randomizer Nuzlocke episodes will be um, will be ones that I recorded in the past. So, for obvious reasons, you know, it's going to be a little bit different. And they'll only be 15-minute episodes. But, I, I, will, I will put those up there, at least a couple of them, um, in the near future, whether it be today or tomorrow. Um, I don't know exactly what's going to happen with this, these PlayStation things. Most likely, I'm just going to keep um, the Madden, the NBA, and the Sword Art Online stuff. And I'm going to keep that... Um, I'm essentially going to keep that away uh, for a little while until I can figure out exactly what the issue is. Um, well, I mean, I know what the issue is. I don't know. I just don't know if I can fix it or not. Um, most likely it's going to be not, and we'll have to see how that goes. But, um, I would like to thank you guys for watching this episode. Make sure you click that thumbs up button down below. I'm going to end up stopping the recording here, but, uh, I would love to hear you guys, your guys' thoughts, reactions in the comment section. So please, please leave a comment. Um, and let me know how I'm doing, what you think um, of the show, of the series. Let me know, you know, what you guys want to watch. Um, you know, it all helps. Everything, criticism, good things, bad things, whatever. It, it does help, and I do appreciate you guys coming in and viewing this episode. Um, I, do, I do greatly apologize for this ending short. Um... I really wish it didn't have to end like this, but, you know, this is just going to be how it is. Um, most likely, 
based on how it, things have been playing out, I'm probably going to end up winning this game. So, um, never fear. But I'm I'm hoping I, I'm I'm hoping to run away with this game because like I don't I don't want you guys to miss a close game that's like back and forth down to the wire because that would suck. So. That's my hope, anyway. Um, but I'll—I uh, thank you guys for watching this episode, and we'll see you see you next time.